What's going on guys? Welcome back to Spartan Mind YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing the review on the Ryzen 5 1600 and how much it can hash, how much we can expect to make per day. But not only are we going to figure that out, we're going to be doing the test between Nice Hash and Awesome Miner and which one is better. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so you like that new intro? I've got a couple of them I'm going to be testing out. There was a guy on one of the trading forums that I used to use whenever I played Diablo 2, Diablo 3. I was asking around for some graphics help, and he has sent me those, so I'm going to try those out. Let me, let me know what you guys think about them down below. If you want to find out more about this guy, um, I'm going to have his link down in the description, and then in the next video, I'm also going to do a proper shout out to his channel. That way you can go to him, you can ask him for help, uh, I am going to be paying him for this, so and it's going to be like a paid intro, and you know his name on the forum, which you guys probably don't know of, but it's D2GSP. His name is D2 uh, D2T Healer. So I'm going to put a link down in the description to his YouTube channel. Go to him, check him out. He's also got like I think a gaming channel going on. So go check him out, subscribe, tell him Spark Mining sent you over there. But anyway, let's get into the video. So, nice hash and awesome miner, right? Well, I've got the Ryzen 5 1600 that we got, so we could do, you know, we could get our video rendering out quicker. We would just overall be happier, you know, with our gaming experience, and it should be able to mine some stuff, right? So, I'm going to be going over that on how much it can mine and what our hash rate is going to be, and if nice hash and awesome miner is better. So, let's get right into it. All right, so nice hash. It's an alternative where you can rent your hashing power out or you can buy hashing power, right? So you download the program. Brandon Coin over Brandon over at Brandon Coin does nice hash videos all the time. I'm not a nice hash user, but everybody's like nice hash, do this, nice hash, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I downloaded it and started trying it, which I'll show you in the clip. I did it through my uh, camera that I've got. So you'll be able to see that. But it allows you to get paid out in BTC, so you just rent your hashing power out and then it just puts it on your little account and then you can cash out once you get to a certain amount. Awesome Miner allows you to customize it and you can mine the coins directly, right? So I use Awesome Miner all the time for my test. Whenever I get my new graphics cards, I put them in there, test the bio setting out, test what all I can get. You know, it's super customizable. You can switch between all the coins and you mine the coins directly. It puts it onto your miner through Mining Pool Hub and then you can just take the coins out and deposit them into your wallet etc the pool fee is like 0.09% so it's not even a percent of of uh, what you're actually mining I like awesome miner it's super great awesome miner you should promote me whatever I don't care anyways back to it I like awesome miner however nice hash was pretty nice you know I mean the title gives it away nice hash you just press a button and it starts mining directly and then you can cash it out for BTC which if you want Bitcoin that's the way to go so let's take a look at what's different alright so you can see we got nice hash running right here and it's making like 47 cents 43 cents a day it goes back and forth on what it actually wants to make 39 cents you know or like 51 84 satoshis now I was running this and the data since I'm not running it for a long period of time to say data not available and then it'll catch it back again and say data is, data is available but this is on the Monero coin so it's doing kryptonite 7 but you know this is what the nice hash earnings are so it'd be you know about 41 cents a day is what you can get on the Ryzen 5 1600 no overclock settings no nothing not too bad with nice hash right not too bad with a CPU that costs $189 super super good super good all right, so now we have the awesome miner view, right? 41 cents a day, 310 hash rate. It bounces back and forth again, you know, 39 cents. So 40 cents, 301 hash rate. The hash rate, you know, it'll peak out at like 340 hashes a second on Monero or Electronium. I just did Monero just to do it. But you can see, you know, the prices or what you can earn per day is pretty much the same. One's gonna give you the actual coin and one's gonna give you BTC. Hi right, guys, so that's the comparison between Nice Hash and Awesome Miner, and this is on the Ryzen 5 1600 6 core, 3.2 gigahertz out of the box, 3.6 with the overclock. But you know, you can see the price is 179. That's what I paid for it. Uh, you got your 
DDR support, support is an unlock processor, so you can overclock it as much as you want to, up to a certain extent. The thermal design is 16 or 65 watts. The cooler is a 95 watts TDP. You know, it's a it's a good processor. Yeah, there's you know they got the Ryzen 2s coming out, but the TDP actually goes up on the new Ryzen 2s that are gonna be coming out with not not really a whole lot of Im improvements, in just my opinion. You know, just upgrading to this six core processor versus the one that I had before is just blowing me out of the water for 180 bucks you know and you can be mining at 41 cents a day and then if profit, profits continue to go up then you could be looking at making almost a dollar a day probably here in the near future on processor which would be about 180 days once you know you get to that certain point but you know even at like 41 cents a day you're still looking at around what maybe a year you can pay off whenever you're not using your CPU you can just be mining on it but the Ryzen 5 1600, my render speeds have like dramatically imp improved. You know, whenever I'm watching the videos that I'm trying to edit out, you know, buffer through the little screen and the video editor, it's just going by super smooth. And, you know, you can't beat it. it. I like the processor a lot. I'm an AMD guy. So if you guys are looking for something new, you know, try out this AMD 5, 16, or this Ryzen 5 1600 6 core. I like it a lot. So, you know, what, what's my take on nice hash versus awesome miner? Well, if you want Bitcoin, it's a good alternative, right? You're looking at pretty much getting the same amount for each one through awesome miner or nice hash, 41 cents a day, right? The average and what we can make. Nice hash is going to give me BTC and then it's going to have a, a payout uh, fee once you actually get it out. Now with awesome miner, I'm going to be mining the coins directly. So instead of it just renting out my hashing power, now I'm just hashing on my own, getting my own coins, storing it in my own wallet. I like that part about awesome mining. Now it's going to be between, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. If you like the ease of you just downloading and then clicking the button for nice hash, go for it. If you like awesome miner and you want to get coins directly, I do videos with awesome miner all the time, getting you set up so you can mine it, you know, getting it stored on your miner or getting it put into a wallet. You know, it's really just what you prefer to do. But the Ryzen 5 1600 6 core, 41 cents a day is what you can be looking to make. Not not too bad on a $180 processor considering, you know, graphics cards right now are making, you know, 41 cents a day, 50 cents a day, and you're paying the same if not more prices. And it's not taking up a GPU slot. So with that, guys, that's going to be it. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Be on the lookout for content coming out daily. Hit that notification bell. That way you can be up to date as soon as something comes live. If you guys have questions, you can always email me at SpartanMining at Yahoo. You know, email me questions that you might have. If you need help getting BIOS mods done, you know, send me an email. I've helped a few people out already by going and just BIOS modding them myself. So, you know, you just send me questions that you have at the email SpartanMining at Yahoo.com. I'll put it down below in the description. That way if you forget, you can just go down there and check it out. But until next time, guys, peace.